Hello, this is Alex. In this video, I'm going to show how to use the template generator to install uh, re the Relib library, Regui, for C++ on Visual Studio. Uh, this is the easiest way that I know. It takes about five minutes to do it. So, the first thing uh, we want to do is uh, go on the GitHub um, website under Omega Pi is a folder called my Relay template GUI uh, inside that uh, repository uh, is uh, premake 5 um, files that we want to clone uh, this premake 5 five files uh, we generate a template for Visual Studio and we install, install inside your project folder, the Relib library and uh, Ray GUI. So let's do that. The first thing we want to do is copy this link over here to clone the repository. I use HTTPS, but you're more than welcome to use a different way to do that. So I have a project folder. Um, let's delete this. Um, so I have already a project folder that I created uh, that I call my projects on my desktop. And uh, it, it needs to be empty uh, for GitHub, uh, forget to clone uh, the repository. So we have empty folder. And I'm going to launch uh, CMD. So it's different ways that you can clone a repository from GitHub. I use get uh, I use get uh, clone to do that. Paste the link. Push enter. So here you go. We already installed it. Uh, we installed the repository. Um, get created a folder called my relay template GUI inside uh, my project uh, folder. So what I do is I keep this as my uh, uh, new uh, relay uh, uh, GUI uh, template generator uh, um, folder. So I keep this just like it is. So I want to create a new project uh, so let's do that. So I go inside my really template GUI and over here I'm going to copy all these files and the build folder. Be sure that you get the build folder and all the files over here that I uh, I selected. Just let's copy this. Uh, don't select the, the get folder over here. So let's create a new folder uh, for the new project. I will call it uh, my game. Inside my game folder, I'm going to go and paste the premake uh, files and the build folder. So what we want to do uh, for the next step is to launch the premake visual bad file uh, the premake uh, 5x it doesn't do anything so you want to use premake file premake visual studio bad file and this will generate uh, the template uh, for visual studio and install really inside this folder over here that we name my game. <coughs> so if you have really already installed in your PC um, pre-make uh, Visual Studio Bad will not install it inside the folder. Um, the really uh, master um, no master, but the really library needs to be installed inside your C drive over here under the user folder. 
and if and if uh, if you have already installed Relief inside your C drive here, it will not install it inside this folder. So we can see that we have now uh, my game solution um, file over here. Uh, Premake uh, the Premake template uh, gets the folder name here that we call my game and create a solution or a template uh, for Visual Studio called My Game. So we don't need all these files over here, so let's uh, delete them. So we don't need that, we don't need this. So we have a clean folder here now. I also go inside the build folder over here and I delete the license for premake file for premake 5 and uh, the premake 5 uh, file over here so I'm going to delete that there you go so inside that build folder all your headers and uh, source files are going to be created now let's launch uh, Visual Studio So at this point now you have the Relib install, uh, regularly install inside your PC and you're pretty much ready to go. What I like to do is to troubleshoot uh, my installation uh, to see everything installed uh, correctly. So inside a solution called My Game. We can see we have this folder, my game, and uh, another folder called my uh, Relib. These are two projects. We um, just you call these two folder projects. So over here you can access all your Relib uh, files. For example, here is your headers, and over here is your source file in C. Again, with this template you can. Uh, code in C++ and C. So I like to actually check uh, if my uh, installation went properly. So we can see that inside the headers, this is the regui standalone header file that we use for uh, regui. This is regui icons, I also put it over here. Um, so I put it inside uh, my project. Um, you can also, if you wish, move them inside the Relib and move these two files over here inside the headers uh, for the Relib uh, library. But I like to keep them over here. So I'm gonna launch this uh, main C file over here. So inside that main C file, I put a, uh, an example uh, from uh, from the uh, the GitHub account uh, for uh, Relib and the Regui, and uh, this example uh, shows um, shows the different. Uh, um, Regui uh, options uh, files, what you can do with uh, Regui. Uh, here you can see that I included Regui over here. Um, but if you move the files uh, somewhere else, 
a few more regui inside the the really library project uh, you need to use this uh, link over here so let's uh, see if everything is stored properly so I'm going to go and compile in debug mode the program control test suite uh, or program or example program over here launched so this is the different uh, options buttons menus that uh, Ray uh, GUI offer so it works perfectly in uh, it has different templates that you can find on the, on the on, uh, on the GitHub, on his GitHub account over here, on the Relib GitHub, Relib uh, get a GitHub account, and I will put a link for that under this video. So let's close that. The program was perfectly uh, in debug mode. I also like to run it in release mode. And uh, the program worked perfectly in uh, release mode. So at this point, uh, you're pretty much good to go and start coding in C++, C, uh, using the Relib library and uh, Regui. So you're good to go. I also wanted to uh, show if you um, wanted to install Relib in a different um, with a different way you can go on the Relib website and download Relib from the Relib website uh, you can use uh, this is just for the <coughs> this is for the Relib library it's not for the regui uh, standalone file so uh, um, here is the it's called, uh, this template is called Game Premake and it's made by Jim, uh, Jeffrey Jeffrey Mayers. Um, I use his uh, here is Premake uh, uh, files uh, to create my own Premake files. I modify mine quite a bit, so they look uh, uh, the files are different. Uh, they are modified from his. Uh, I wanted uh, I, the reason I did that is why I wanted a different template. He has a lot of things going on, uh, a lot of extra things. Maybe you like those extra things. He has different names for his folders, and uh, if you want to use his uh, his premake um, template uh, for for Relib, I will put a link to his uh, repository under this video. And um, so to find um, here, this is where you find the the Ray GUI. You know, in the, is under Ray uh, account on GitHub, and I will put also a link for that if you're interested to um, to install Ray GUI uh, yourself. So that's it, uh, thank you for watching and uh, like uh, this video.